I'm Seema Kumar, I'm CEO of Cure, and we are bringing you this very special fireside chat from the floor of the Biotechnology Innovation Organization annual convention here in San Diego. And joining me is Jamie Metzel, and he is the founder of One Shared World. And not only that, he is an author, uh, he is a futurist, he's an iconoclast, an innovator, and he's just come out with his new book called Super Convergence. Here we are, you're signing copies of the book here at, at Bio, and you gave a phenomenal talk. And one of the things we learned about, you're the only member of the family who's not a doctor. Correct. And yet you're the one who figured out what was ailing your dad, and figured out a way to solve it. So talk a little bit about that and why that is such an important story for you personally. Well, thank you for asking, Seema, and I'm really thrilled to be here. And you lead an organization with one word in its name, and that's frankly what it's all about. It's about finding cures, not just in and of themselves, because the thing that we're unlocking is life and potential and love. And, and, and so it's a, it's a very meaningful story for me. So as you said, I'm, I'm one of four brothers. Three of the others are MD. I have a, a PhD um, in Southeast Asian <laughs> history, and I'm self-taught in the, in the sciences. And our father um, is retired now, but was a pediatrician, and our, he's an MD, and my, our mother is an MD, I'm sorry, is a PhD psychologist and, and psychoanalyst. And so in about two years ago, uh, my father, our father, was diagnosed with stage four metastatic neuroendocrine cancer. I mean, it was obviously a, sh a, a big shock to the family. And for whatever mix of reasons, including family dynamics, personality style, or whatever, I became relatively quickly the one who was overseeing his medical care, uh, working with the, the oncologist. And so the oncologist started with a pretty standard treatment for his cancer, which was a chemotherapy that my father tolerated very well. So we realized that my father was tolerating the chemo. It just wasn't really working. It wasn't slowing the spread of the cancer. And so then we thought, well, maybe radiation therapy, that would be a possibility, but he wasn't a match for the, the kind of, yeah. of treatment. Mm -hmm. And so then the oncologist was recommending a very aggressive chemotherapy that had a 100% chance of knocking my dad, who was then 88, now 89, on his rear, mm. um, but only a 30% chance of helping. Whoa. But because of just the work that I do, and I was writing the, the healthcare chapter of this book at that time, focusing on the future of cancer care, I insisted from the very beginning that we sequence my father's tumor cells, that we take a biopsy and send it to be grown into, uh, into organelles, which wasn't the standard of care for his type of, of cancer. And it turned out that when we got the sequencing information back, there was a targetable mutation in his cancer, mm. a relatively rare mutation called, called BRAF. Mm. And so another possibility was a new uh, treatment targeting, trying to essentially to turn off that one gene, which was signaling to the cancer cell uh, to keep growing. Only a few weeks before, uh, that use of, of that approach had been authorized by the FDA and not for my dad's specific cancer. For another indication. For another indication. Yeah. So I was talking with the oncologist and we talked about those possibilities. And I said, well, I, th I think we should go for this one because it's targeted. The other thing we know it's gonna harm him. If, you, if you're 88, 89 years old, you get knocked on your rear, who knows if you're ever gonna stand back yeah. up. So let's go for the targeted thing. So few people have had this treatment. Maybe it doesn't work at all. Maybe it works better than our dreams. I think it's a risk we're taking. So we, yeah. we talked it through and we ended up doing it. And it's just unbelievable. When we first got the prognosis, we thought maybe six to nine months of healthy living. Uh, my dad's cancer is now in very significant remission. Four? It's getting close to two years. Wow. In that two years, two Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victories. And we took my dad to the Super Bowl earlier this year. We were right there when, when Nicole Hardman caught the winning Super Bowl. Uh -huh. uh, his granddaughter's bat mitzvah, her um, grad eighth grade graduation in Denver. And then my, we're flying my parents uh, to New York this weekend to attend the book launch party in New York City that you yourself are, are co-hosting. So. It's like what I said, it, it's, it's a great story. And, and, and frankly, it's about what's 
what it, what it's for, what we're fighting for. We're looking forward to, I'm looking forward to reading this book. Thank you for signing a copy. Sure. I'm looking forward to our conversation again on Tuesday and to more, learning more about this book. Uh, congratulations on the book. Lots of great reviews from Sid Mukherjee, Sanjay Gupta, Beth Shapiro, and many more yep. people. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for this talk. Good. And thank you, Seema. And yes. thank you so much for the great work that you guys are Absolutely. doing. It really is kind of amazing.